Hey guys, so today I'm heading to KCCA, this is the Kampala City Council to get some some drawings and hopefully it will go smoothly. These things you can never tell. I mean KCCA really improved especially when it became an authority because the KCC before was so corrupt like pure corruption. I remember I was on campus and getting drawings like when you are, when you ask for drawings with a letter from a university for educational purposes they should be able to help you but they would always ask us for money like to bribe them it was so disgusting but like the kcca now is so efficient you just hand in applications or but the problem is the lines the lines are so long and not everything can be done online because they try to do their whole online thing and then sometimes they give you documents online but you have to come and hand them in it didn't make sense if his stuff is online can we just do it online and finish it and not have to go to offices and then they work at particular hours in the morning anyway i'm just hoping i'm this jam doesn't delay me so much that i'm not able to hand in my application i just had such a rough morning today i don't know i've had difficulty the whole morning trying to trying to stay motivated i've even woken up some days and it just not you're just not motivated to do anything and i've just been encouraging myself throughout the day praying like god help me give me energy for today because i just don't feel like doing anything anyway at least i was able to get out of it then today evening i have a workout with my friend we moved location lisa i think if you've seen any of our, our video uh with instagram we do videos every week but I'm going to just be posting the workout videos on Instagram. So if you want to see that, follow me on Nkorera TV. That's on Instagram. And um, on Facebook, go to Nkorera TV Shows if you want to see the videos. Yep. So I'll be posting videos for our workouts. And my aunt may be joining us. I'm not sure. She said she would like to join us. She's like a very workout enthusiast. And she hasn't worked out in such a while. And she's like, I just need some more people to motivate me. So can I join you guys? And she's offering her compound, which is really nice because it's in town and it's near all of us and we can work out during the day. Oh my gosh, I'm still in, like, I'm talking to you. I haven't moved. That's how bad this jam is. And this is not even peak hour. Peak hour is morning and evening. This is not even lunch hour break. It's just your everyday jam. I mean, it's not even midday, but I just feel I want to turn back to my house, go back in bed and relax. But I can't do that, especially when you're self-employed. When you're self-employed, you have to get yourself out of bed. There's just no one to motivate you apart from you. So that's what's that. That's what's up. Oh. <sighs> And I'm trying to get like more consistent with uploading my videos back to my everyday Thursday, um, Wednesday and Saturdays, which I was doing well, but the internet is so terrible this side, like it's so slow and then it's so expensive. Oh my gosh. I pay for, I use Vodafone. I pay unlimited 150,000 per month. And it has a volume cap of 35 GB. I think 35 GB is a lot of. So sometimes I, like last month, I finished that 35 GB in like less than two weeks. And then it drops your speed to like 512 KB. And you're like, wow. Oh, so it's super expensive. And. Uh, and anyway, hopefully when my projects start paying <laughs> eventually when my projects start paying i hope to be able to afford this bloody i don't know why i feel like expensive internet in uganda is all a scam i feel like the service providers can actually provide us good fast internet at a more affordable rate but they choose not to because i mean a government, I don't really think there's anyone in government who even understands IT to any level 
or how internet works i remember members of parliament got new ipads recently uh, anyway corruption is so limiting it's so binding that even progress can is limited i mean countries like rwanda i always refer to rwanda because it's like my second home and those guys are just <laughs> They're just overtaking us in so many ways. I was there uh, last weekend and found out that they now have a higher income per capita than Uganda. Um, the internet is so cheap. Okay, not really, really cheap, like cheap, cheap, like how cheap it was in Sweden. But compared to Uganda, you're like, what? And you're getting all that and the internet is fast. You're just like, is there something wrong in Uganda? Are we not paying enough? Do we need... And now I, I have to confirm, but I had that Google had pulled out of, of they were going to um, lay some fiber cables around Kampala to kind of help the situation. But then I had they pulled out. I should find out. Tell me in the comment section if they pulled out. Because the only reason I think Google would pull out is if they came and found pure corruption here, where someone asked them for money to lay. Imagine they're laying cables for us. So that service providers of internet can buy cable, can buy internet from them than having to invest in the infrastructure to lay fiber cables and all to make it faster because as much as satellite is good it's it doesn't work when it's like cloudy or like heavy rains and i mean this is this is a tropical country an equatorial heavy rains come with the territory so you can imagine when there's heavy rains my wi-fi is down when there's a heavy cloud, my Wi-Fi is down. I have a single. I cannot just have internet that works with the elements. This is not back in the day. This is not the ice age. This is not the caveman age. I'm ranting. Let me go and see how this thing works out. Pray for me. I'll be back. <laughs>